Vans sneakers, Saint Laurent boots, Doc Martin boots, Caminer, classy, sleek shoe, Vuitton white sneaker. What's up guys? My name is Mahmoud Al Smadi for the people who doesn't know me. And today I want to talk about my top five favorite shoes and I would say let's start. My first shoes are Vans sneakers in black. First thing about them is they are absolutely all rounder shoes. You can wear them the whole year, almost the whole year. Maybe not in the winter because in the winter it's quite cold and these shoes doesn't hold you warm, but these shoes you can wear for really casual occasions and you can wear them also for very classy occasions. I like to wear these shoes because they go almost with everything and the price is perfect, they're not expensive. So a really good shoe, as it was once, the Converse, you know, the Chucks. I think in these times it's the Vans and yeah, I would definitely go for these shoes. My second shoes are the Chelsea Saint Laurent boots. I got these from Annie for Christmas. I really like them. They have this nice zipper here and it's very easy. They look super chic and I know guys, they're a little bit more pricey but I like to spend a little bit more money on shoes as I think investing in a good shoe or in a good jacket or in a belt or accessories is something that you should do guys. This is things that I say they stay for a very long time. When it comes to a jeans or a t-shirt, you know, I wouldn't invest that much money because the fast fashion market is changing all the time. And this is something where I don't invest that much money. So I prefer to invest there because it's a good investment and a good shoe stays for a very long time. My favorite about the Saint Laurent Chelsea boot is they're absolutely a classy shoe. You can wear them for a classy occasion, but also for a very casual occasion. So I really like them. Whenever you wear them, you look very much dressed up. And this is something that I really like, being fresh and looking like a rock star. I think a black Chelsea boot is a must. One thing that I find super important is the care. And definitely when it comes to leather shoes, you have to be really careful with these shoes. You can damage them very quick. So that's why it's super important to care them rightly to have a very long lasting shoe. So I like to take care of my shoes, but I wanna give you some advice at the end of the day. My third shoes are Doc Martin boots. These boots I got last year, February, when I was with Annie in New York, and it was super stormy. We both have been like, so cold. My whole shoes have been totally wet and my feet have been freezing. So I just decided to get these Doc Martin shoes and they have been the best decision I've ever done. When I think about yesterday, for example, I went out of the car and I stepped into a puddle like, full of water. Like I really stepped into it and I was standing like that much into water. I was thinking, shit, my feet's gonna be wet. But what happened? These shoes are absolutely waterproof. So nothing happened to me. My feet have been completely dry. So I really like these shoes for the winter, but I have been also wearing it for like the autumn, spring. These shoes are absolutely cool. And I got them in all black. You can get them with the yellow stitches here, but I prefer to have them in all black as I think all black is wearable on much more outfits than a yellow stitching which interrupts a little bit. They look so classy even if you wear them. The first time I wore them I thought like this is a very big shoe you know but when you wear them they look so cool. These shoes hold me so warm in the winter. I don't feel any cold at my feet. I really recommend these shoes. They're really nice. So we had a sneaker, we had a Chelsea boot, and we had a boot. And now let's come to a more classy version of shoe. My four shoes are these Camina classy sleek shoes. I love these shoes. They're super elegant. And I wasn't actually sure how these shoes are called. And we looked it up and they are called monks. So basically a normal monk is one with one stripe here and this is a double monk. So they're called double monks, very interesting. 
I just Google it, trust me guys. I didn't know, but I really love this shoe. It's very wearable for the whole year. And as you can see, I have a shaper inside that they stay in good position. So yeah, these shoes are so, so cool. It's a Spanish company, it's a handmade shoe, and you can wear them almost for every classy occasion. So I like to wear them for every classy event on a suit. Also, sometimes if I feel like being a little bit more dressed up. For example, today I'm wearing this white shirt with the black pullover on top, a black jeans and I, this would suit absolutely with it, maybe a black leather jacket, so I really like them and um, you know the quality is so good but you have really to take care of your leather shoes but I'm gonna come back to this. My fifth shoes are white sneaker. These are Louboutin white sneaker. I really love them. Um, this one is a high top but if I would go back to the time and think about buying a new logo top. I would buy the low top as I think now I'm much more into it. Low top shoes are really nice and you can dress them much better but I still like them and I like to wear these shoes. They're really nice and there's nothing better than a white sneaker because it lifts you up going out with a very nice white fresh Sneaker. You know, you can wear them with all outfits. I think white sneaker dress up with everything blue, black, orange. You can wear them with everything, with all colors. But this is a must have. I think a white sneaker is absolutely a must have. And yeah, I went for the little bit of white sneaker. I know these shoes are a little bit more pricey and for everyone who doesn't want to spend that much money on a shoe, there is so many websites which are much more affordable, for example, Banzar.com, there's ASOS, there's even Amazon where you can get shoes, guys. There's Boohoo, there's Massimo Dutti, so there's a lot of places where you can get really nice shoes, guys, and they don't have to be expensive. Like, don't get me wrong, I like to invest a little bit more, but it's not necessary. If you want to have a shoe which still look good, you can also buy your shoes there. So to come back to the point when I said I want to give you some tips to care your shoes, which I think is one of the most important things if you buy a very expensive shoe. What I do when I get a leather shoe, first thing, they're packed out, they're still new, never worn. What I do is I put a water spray on it. So, I mean, I like this company. Colonial is really, really good. This is Carbon Pro Spray. Just gonna link it if you want, guys. Um, this is something that I spray on my leather shoes when I got them the first day. I spray it on it and it lasts for a very long time, but this is something you should really, really do. And don't do it after you've been wearing it for one month or stuff like this. So, you can really do a lot of wrongs with leather shoes. First thing, what you have to do, put a spray on it a waterproof spray that they are protected from dirt, from water and all this stuff. One thing you should really do. Another thing what I like to do, I like to polish my shoes. So I have a clear polishing brush and this is a black polishing brush. I like to use them both but I don't use the black one on a white shoe for sure so I use more a uh, clear one. I really recommend to do that as your leather needs also a little bit of care. When it comes to black shoes in between, sometimes I like to put a color. So this is, for example, a brush with black color. Put it on the shoe, I clean it, put the polishing brush over it. This is something where you can put some pigments if you think like the shoe lost a little bit of color and it's not anymore that black as you want to have it. I put the black pigment brush. I really like to do that in between. When it comes to a shoe and I've been wearing for a very long time, sometimes it happens that the shoe doesn't look as fresh as it was before. So I just use this one fresh again. Another thing that I really like to do is from time to time I get my shoes together and I spray fresh deodorant for the shoes. Nothing worse than having a stinky shoe, you put your shoes off, you're with guests. Yeah, I like to do that in between. Once a week I do a care for my shoes. I like to take care of my stuff as I think, you know, when you get so expensive things, I really want to have them for a very long time. That's why I want to take care of these shoes. It's not just for me going and getting a shoe just like that. So I really think about it for a very long time. And if it's a Saint Laurent boot or um, it's a Camino shoe or it's a Louboutin, it's, it's not just a ball like that, you know. I've been thinking about it for a very long time and I really want them to stay healthy and cared and clean and all this stuff. And that's why I protect them and I take care of them every week once I just clean my shoes and polish them and all this stuff I really like to do that yeah one big advice guys I having this acetone in my hand 
This acetone you can get in a pharmacy. I mean, it's a chemical at the end of the day, but you could use this for a very good thing. I'm gonna use a cotton pad and put some acetone on it. And I'm gonna clean the rubber part of my white sneaker. This is the part that you can imagine after time. It gets a little bit dirty at these parts. And I wanna show you what acetone does. So you can take really this part. Can you see this? This part looks totally new and I'm gonna clean this as well, just that you see the difference, but you can see actually this part is cleaned and this is still dirty, but I'm gonna clean this as well. So you see, this is also clean now. I really like to do this in between. As you can see, the acetone really cleans the rubber part, but I would take care with your shoes. If you wanna clean more and you have a white shoe and it's leather, be careful, like you can do that if there's like for example a black mark or stuff like this but be careful that it doesn't take away the color as it is a lot of alcohol so you have to take care also when you're women. Put gloves on because you have nails, polish and all this stuff so take care for your skin and for your nails. Be sure to put this acetone far away from kids. The good point about this product you can really use it for these white parts and you saw, I mean, it gets so clean. It's a really nice advice. Nothing better than having a fresh shoe. I hope you liked this video. Please leave a thumbs up if you did. Hope to see you guys very soon. Thank you guys for watching.